kid as you look back at the season, how do you just kind of reconcile it? How do you make sense of it so it doesn't kind of weigh you down, drive you crazy? Yeah. Um, obviously not the year that we hoped for uh, coming in, but um, learned a lot for sure. Um, a lot of lessons came out of it. Um, you know, for me, I'm just thankful to have been able to make it through another season, um, to be healthy, to find who I am again on the court uh, after missing most of my second year. So, um, you know, those are the positives that I'm taking away from a tough situation like this. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Are you able to, I know it's been so fresh, are you able to pinpoint what went wrong? Or is it, when you have a season like this, it's maybe several different things that, that went wrong? Um. I've put thought to it before. It's hard to say, um, but a lot went wrong, you know. And so it's just on. It was on us to try to adjust, and you know, find ways to start winning games. And, and we just had a tough time throughout the year. So, um, like I said, it's a lot to learn from. A lot of experience for you know a young team. We got a lot of experience this year, and I think we'll all be better for it. Going into the off season, uh, you know, especially coming off a season where you were healthy pretty much all the way through, I guess, how does your focus kind of shift from last season where it was a lot of rehab? Like, you anticipate not being able to do a lot more skill work, kind of, how do you map out your off season right now? Yeah. Um, I mean, you're right now. I could, I could get straight into it. I don't have to, you know, try to ramp up from – walk into a jaw to run it like last year um you know to to be able to start the year strong start the offseason strong is is big for me um I want to you know continue to stay in shape and and stay strong especially through these these playoffs uh and work out hard maybe like around the finals I'll take a little bit more time off and then after that you know start to ramp up again for the season but um Got a lot of time to, you know, really put myself in a good spot. You guys have talked about going through these struggles and how it might make future success sweeter. Do you see it still as maybe a productive thing, or are you maybe a little bit worried that it might become ingrained? Or I guess how do you see the struggles in terms of how they might affect your future? Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't say they were productive in any ways other than um, you know, making us a little more resilient, a little bit tougher minded. Um I mean, well we went through this this season is not for the week for sure. Um you know, it's hard. It's hard winning games, but we we definitely see how hard it is to lose as many games as we did. So, um, you know, it's it's a it's a challenge for us, and I think we all are excited to take on this challenge of finding our way out of this hole that we dug. And um, you no, know, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna, um, you know, not hide from it. We're just gonna keep chopping wood and carrying water. Just from the way the season panned out, are there any positive that you're able to pull away from the defending? Yeah, I mean, I think one being blessed to, you know, have completed another NBA season. Um, to, for me, playing 62 games, coming out of, you know, major surgery. Um, coming out of the surgery, not knowing, you know, if I'd be able to get back to myself. And, you know, after the season, now I feel like I, I was able to do that. You know, I feel great about that. Um, and just for, you know, this young core, the fact that we have an experience like we just had together. Um, I think we're all hungrier and, and, you know, more determined to change that narrative about each other. So, you know, it's, I think those are all positives and things that we could use to our advantage. And, you know, as you, as you go into your off-season program, have there been any, any aspects of your game that you thought about you want to intentionally go in and improve upon? Yeah, definitely my, my ball handling. Um, my conditioning, for sure. Um, I say those are probably my two top priorities, but 
obviously my jump shot, my my mid range game, finishing at the rim, all these things are gonna get worked on for sure. But my conditioning, my handling, I think are my two top things that I focus on. Okay, and, and the record since you've been here, the last three years have been what it is. And I know it was important to you to go number one to kind of prove that you could lead a franchise back and stuff like that. I think you're eligible for extension this summer. Like, have you thought about that at all? And is the hope still to stay here and and, and continue to build that? You asked me if I've thought about my extension. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. I've definitely had that on my mind, but. Um, at the same time, though, I, I've been making sure that I don't get ahead of myself. Um, if I wasn't, you know, if, if I got in a car crash and I wasn't able to play anymore, you know what I mean? Those type of things don't happen. So um, I'm just taking it one day at a time and, you know, staying in the moment. Um, and when, when that gets here, it'll get here. Um, Lord willing, it does. But, um... For me, I mean, just just focusing on next season and, and how I could help improve the team, how I could improve my game, how I could bring more to the table is everything for me. Um, and so that's where my mind is at, and that's what I'm working towards. In what ways do you think you've uh, kind of grown in terms of basketball as well as leader of this team? Uh, I mean, as the season went on, I feel like my body – Started feeling better and better. I feel like I was getting my legs under me more. Um, obviously, I had, you know, like my knee was kind of fluctuating. I had, like I said, good days and bad days. But um, I feel like my body started really feeling better and better. And my game, you know, I was turning the ball over like crazy to start the year. I feel like I, I settled that down a little bit. Um my shot, I feel like, you know, I, I got it back to a good point. Um, but all these things, man, it's just about consistency. And, and, you know, you're only as good as your last game. So I just, you know, I'm excited about this summer. I really am. Excited about being able to get back in the gym and sharpen at all my tools. You feel like you learned about your teammates this season and just the day-to-day -day adversity everybody had to deal with? Yeah. Man, I learned a lot about really everybody that's that's been here um you really see what people are you really see what your teammates are made out of you see what everybody's made out of coaches sports staff everybody um so i feel like the fact that you know we were able to come back each day and you know some of the craziest times probably any team has seen in the nba um the fact we were able to come back and work hard, you know, still put smiles on our face and, and be optimistic about the next game, next day, whatever it is, um, that really helped us get to this through the season. I feel like if we had quit, I mean, the season might still be going on right now. Um, but, you know, I, I'm just thankful for everybody sticking to it. You know, we didn't have any anybody quit on us or, you know, any of that, which – I mean, is I feel like you would see that more so with a lot of teams, but we had a lot of guys that stuck with it, um, and we fought it out. Anything you learned about yourself as far as adversity? Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of the same. I've, I mean, I've had adversity in my life, but nothing like this in basketball. So, you know, I've been blessed in basketball for all my life, you know, winning games, accolades, whatever. But, um, you know, this is really – the NBA, since I got into the NBA, has humbled me as far as, you know, knowing how much it takes to, to succeed. Um, and so, you know, I'm learning more and more about myself every day. But I love where I'm at. I love what I do. And – I'm excited to change the narrative about not being able to win games. Just kind of going out there, when you think about the future of the Detroit Pistons, where does the optimism, the vision, the excitement compare to, to maybe where it was when that photo was taken right after you were drafted? Uh, 
It's a good photo, man. Um, <laughs> man, I mean, my optimism is probably higher, honestly. It might be, might seem like cap, but it's really not, man. It's, I didn't know what I was getting into at that time. Um, I was confident, but I was also like really nervous about, you know, what was to come because I just didn't know. I was kind of going into the unknown. Um, I know the NBA now. I know what players are out there. I know what I'm going to see. I'm confident about who I am on the basketball court. I'm confident about who my teammates are. So for me, I mean, I'm more optimistic than ever and just being able to have a better year next year than this one and continuing to build towards my goals. Okay, kind of with that, um, your third year in the league now, your status on the team, if the powers that be came to you and asked for your input on, on what they think should change, do you feel comfortable to, in that position just to try to to look and see what you feel is best to help improve the team. You're saying when they ask about if they ask about just input on like to help improve the team this right. summer or whatever, do you feel like comfortable in your position to do that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I'm very comfortable and confident with how I see the game, with how I see players and all of that. Um, I feel like I have a great feel for what guys are made out of once I play against them. So. Um, I mean, I'm very comfortable, I, and if it, if I'm asked, I have I'll give an answer every time, for sure. Mm -hmm.